and go we're on. Hello, hi, this is Charlie Adler, author of I Drink on the Job, and this is Three Cents. Today we're interviewing, tonight we're interviewing Garrett Peck, author of The Prohibition Hangover. Welcome, Garrett. Thanks so much, Charlie. Thanks for okay. having me on the show. All right, well, listen, hey, very informal show. We just had a few drinks, a few beers, quite a few beers at Church Key at uh, Birch and Barley. So, three questions for you. First question is tell us a little bit about what your book is about and why you wrote it. Uh, my book is The Prohibition Hangover Alcohol in America from Demon Rum to Colt Cabernet. Uh, it looks at how America shifted over from when we repealed Prohibition in 1933 to how you know, we lost the stigma about alcohol to the point where we are today, where two thirds of us drink. So, how largely over these last three or four generations, how we became a drinking nation again. What did you think from writing the book is the most, you know, most important point, and what are the, what are the, what's, what is the, the biggest lesson you learned from the book, and what are most people asking you about? What do you think is the lesson for American society that your book has really changed? Uh, there's a couple points here. I, I think for one is, is to look at how really normalized alcohol is now in American society. I mean, really, alcohol is fundamental to our culture. Um, we have a huge foodie culture going on right now, and you know, we like to pair. Our, our food with different wines or different beers or different cocktails and that's a huge it's a huge part of what we enjoy doing right here right now as well the other big question I get all the time this is really interesting because I didn't actually cover this at all in the book but every talk I give someone asks about this and that's about the drug wars um, everyone wants to know like what's the parallel between prohibition and the drug wars here today I've been fighting this thing here for the last four you know three or four well since Nixon four decades now and uh, it's, it's kind of interesting to see um, uh, there's a a number of very, very big parallels going on <laughs> between the two. Uh, the most interesting thing, observation I've seen out of it, though, was that during Prohibition itself, uh, pos personal possession of alcohol was never illegal. You could always really? still possess it. You could oh, okay. still make your own beer, you could still make your own wine, as long as you only did it at home. With the drug wars, though, even possession of marijuana right. is a felony offense, and hence we've filled our prisons full of people who are largely low-level drug offenders. But you're definitely drawing a connection between prohibition and drugs, which I think is important for people because at one time, before we were all born, it was in fact a drug and treated like that. Indeed, you know? yeah. It supported a whole industry. So let me ask you the last question. This is more of the personal one, more of the fun one. What's your favorite food and wine pairing or beer and wine pairing? What do you, what do you consider really, what, what gets you excited about pairing? What, what's your favorite? I have a couple different favorite pairings. Um, well, here them all. <laughs> <laughs> I think probably the most like mystical pairing experience I've ever had uh, was the, the uh, tart lognon, which is the Alsatian tart you get. It's, a, like, it's uh -huh. almost like a flatbread, yeah. with almost like a pizza, Great, yeah. but they put cream fresh on it and, oh, and yeah. onions, mm. um, and paired together with Converse Demeanor from Alsace. Just, wow. I had that on nice one, huh? street food in, in a couple different Alsatian towns. Converse Demeanor, and what was it again, the tartlet? The, uh... Yeah, it's like an onion tart. Oh yeah, that's bread. Un Incredible. Just amazing uh, pairing. Okay, one more. How about a beer one? Since you're in, you do booze, you do beer, you do wine, and any beer yeah, ones? Gosh. You don't really care? No, tell me a wine one. Whatever your other uh, one is. A beer, obviously the old classic, beer and a hot dog at the baseball stadium. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's more psychological. You hear the baseball game or whatever. But, and yet, it's, yeah, okay. Uh, it's all what psychological. kind of beer? It's all psychological. I, I, I love Go Sam Adams. I love Brooklyn Lager. Uh, um, all kosher all hot dog seasonal. or all beef? <laughs> Hebrew is pretty, Hebrew is good. pretty good. Yeah, so is um, uh, Ben's Chili Bowl. All right, so those, those are good well, things. So, yeah. Well, listen, Garrett, really appreciate it. Thank you. And hi, this is Charlie Adler. Thank you all for showing. This is Three Cents. Take care.